All right, YouTube. So I'm going to be honest, right? I think I, I've seen everybody on Twitter. They've been saying like, um, oh, um, we deserve something free. We deserve V-Buck. We deserve free battle pass. Here's what I think, right? Just make it right. Do, do something and at least compensate us for this because here's the thing. It's been 20 hours of delayed matchmaking services. We had, nobody's been able to get in the game in general. Um, 20 hours of like, hey, it's going to be eight more hours. Oh, actually, we're going to add five onto that. Hey, let's add another two. It's it's currently 9 p.m. And you have people like Cypher PK, Courage, Click, some of the biggest people unable to get into a match now. And, and, and I haven't even, dude, I haven't even queued into a game yet. In my opinion, this is Fortnite's biggest L. Because, like, come on, man. Like, all we want to do is play the game. We waited all day for it. And suddenly it's, oh, matchmaking error, matchmaking error. You can't do it. And then you re-log back in and the queue is 40 minutes long. The queue, the queue is 40 minutes long, dude. What, Like, what are we supposed to do? We've been waiting all day. And then, and then there's still the possibility. This is a gamble, by the way. This is a gamble. What if I go into the next, like, what if I get to lobby, queue up, and the same thing happens? That's an hour of my time I wasted for nothing, right? So on that note, I will say Fortnite. If you're watching this video, if anybody's sharing this, I'm going to be posing it to all platforms. Fortnite. I'm not saying to give us V-Bucks. I'm not saying give us a free skin. I'm not saying even what people are suggesting already other than me saying give us a free battle pass for this bullshit. Do something that will make this worthwhile because no season is going to make this worthwhile. This is 19 hours of delay. It's unprofessional. And then to get into an issue and have non matchmaking, the least you should have done with all that time is figured out how to make your fucking matchmaking worth work. You had... Fortnite OG, which the queues were like days long. The queues were days long and Fortnite OG, and somehow it was an issue. Epic by now should understand that every event, they need to prepare for the biggest amount of people. They had millions of people every fucking day in Fortnite. They can't break 600K. They can't break 600. They were at 655K earlier. And now I'm in a queue for 40 minutes because the matchmaking system cannot take it. Who is queuing into zero build duos? It, 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 there's not even the amount of people that were on Fortnite every single day when Fortnite OG was the number one fucking game in the world. They broke the records and they forgot about us. The fucking problem that I'm seeing right now is that Fortnite is never understanding that their game is very highly wanted. It's very highly valued among the entire world. The UK couldn't get this. Australia, it's prime time. North America is nighttime. We're dealing with what times the UK normally gets our season events, right? So we're for once out of comfort and we're, we're okay, boohoo, it's late. I get it. It's 9 p.m. for me. I'm not going to bed. I'm waiting this queue out because I told my duo I would. I told you guys I would. I've been live for an hour already and I haven't played one fucking game. That is ridiculous. I've actually been live for two hours. Two hours because I had to end the last game because my epic launcher couldn't take it. The strain on the server in general was too much and I couldn't do it. My normal install for Rocket League because of my new system that I just bought was like at least two hours. And I would have played that, but I didn't have time because there was too much strain on epic servers. So on the aspect of like, are you pissed? Yes, I'm beyond pissed because Fortnite should know by now. The amount of people that's going to have it. And by the way, these numbers were underwhelming. They had 655,000. OG Fortnite had 3.2 million people on the peak day, I believe. It was even higher, actually. But it was millions of people every single day playing Fortnite OG because the world wanted that and Fortnite delivered on it. What Fortnite cannot deliver on is giving us a fucking queue. Less than 30 minutes. 20 minutes even would be preferable. You're giving us 50-minute queues when I was in lobby and you kick me out. That is ridiculous. After waiting for 19 fucking hours, we did. We made. We all made sacrifices for this. We made sacrifices. We called out for it. And, and I'm not called out. Sorry. Well, some of us did, but 
I don't know what you're doing. There are a lot of people that skipped school today, so they could be at their house ready for this update. And Fortnite delays it by eight hours. Eight hours! And was that it? No. Then they add five. Then they add two hours. And then it's about 30 minutes after that that finally the servers go up only on console. I have to restart my entire PC, get on, and then I have matchmaking errors that can't even get into one game. When is, when is Fortnite going to realize that you can't keep getting away with giving us the hard end of the stick and then just leaving, right? <laughs> it's really just not fair. It's not fair and it genuinely, it makes, it just makes me feel like Fortnite doesn't care about the community that much anymore. Because this is honestly frustrating, chat. Let's read a tweet real quick from Domzy, right? I literally cannot stand y'all at Fortnite game. In a damn game and my shit crashes, now I have to wait in a 50 minute queue. Y'all servers are so ass, it's not even funny. I see nothing wrong with that statement. By the way, let's read what Fortnite status had to say. We're investigating errors related to purchasing and redeeming items because some people purchased the battle pass and then got kicked out to a fucking 50 minute queue. And they're also investigating errors when attempting to matchmake. We'll provide more info when you have an update. Let's read a reply to this, which is one of the most amazing things. Number one, petition for a free battle pass. Exactly, right? Well, let's be honest, right? 19 hours and you couldn't make it more stable. Is that, dude, the login queues are up to an hour now. I think we deserve a free reward for the extended server downtime in general. And then a, and then a special fucking reward because we've been put in hour long queues after waiting. <laughs> Ridiculous, chat. Let's talk about Sheena BR, right? Okay, I've been doing data mining stuff for 21 hours straight and I'm starting to feel very bad physically. So I'm using this delay to log off. If you've enjoyed my efforts, please consider using creator code Sheena for the battle pass. Thank you on for everything and have a good night. She's feeling bad physically because she's been doing data mining for 21 hours straight. Dude. This is ridiculous. Like, can somebody turn the damn servers on or something? I don't understand because... Like, you've had 19 hours. What else could possibly be wrong? There's matchmaking errors. Uh, they're experiencing issues and they're quote unquote working to resolve them. Shouldn't you have been working for the 19 hours we were already pushed back? It's ridiculous. So without further ado, let's wait for the rest of the hour. Everybody comment under this video telling me when you get in how long it's been and what you think Epic should do to make everybody make it up to everybody. Cause this is ridiculous, right? Subscribe if you're new, leave a like. I'll get back to you with the next one.